Yo, what's up, guys of Elk Swan? This is your post-draft recap from the commish. Obviously, this is my opinion only. Um, so, obviously, I'm sure all of you guys like, your, like y'all's team. Um, I've not really looked at y'all's teams much, um, considering I'm an Elks, too. But, uh, yeah, we got a little bit of glare here. But, uh, be all right. Y'all know who y'all drafted. I'm just going to recap some of the stills, some reaches, and some good teams, just of my opinion, obviously. You know, my opinion means nothing. But I am the commish, so I get to do this. Um, you know, obviously, first overall, JJ. Nice card pick, man. Antonio Brown, no, no shocker there. Same thing happened over in Elks, too. But let's look at this second overall pick. To me, this is a reach. I mean, I like Aaron Rodgers. I mean, everyone was there for Elks, too, that saw this. I mean, to me, that's a shocker. Over, Well, everyone was there for Elks, one, that saw that. But for me, Aaron Rodgers right here by Andy Bells. That's a reach. That's that's a big reach. I got Aaron Rodgers in the third round, and that was reaching for me. So, <clears throat> I mean, I, I'm not going to sit here and hate on Aaron Rodgers. He's elite, very elite. But to me, I mean, you could have had Todd Gurley, AP, Julio, ODB, but you take Aaron Rodgers. So, I mean, we'll see how your team shapes up. I mean, you got some decent receivers looking at it, some all right running backs, but I'm just saying, man, you could have got – Aaron Rodgers later. I mean, whew. all right, let me get off that topic, though. I'll talk about that all day. You know, no surprise, ODB going third, Julio four hole. Todd Gurley, I figured Todd Gurley go a little earlier, but then again, you know, he probably would have if Aaron Rodgers didn't go second. AP slipping up to six. Um, great pick by Lisa, even though that was Jeff McGraw. Great pick, Jeff. Um, Le'Veon Bell first round. I mean, we can all talk about this as much as we want. Um, Le'Veon Bell, if he isn't suspended, where is he going? Probably top three, right? But I don't know. Suspended three games, I'd take him second round. That's what he went in Elks 2 draft. But, I mean, hey, it's Le'Veon Bell. Go pick Cody. Um, you go David Johnson. I'm no fan of David Johnson. But he did prove himself last year. So if he can do it two straight years, that's a great pick by Austin if he can prove himself. And then Bo taking DeAndre Hopkins had a killer year last year. That was a great pick in the non hold. Then you got Gronk. For some reason, Gronk always goes in the first round. I can't blame you guys. He's a baller. Um, great pick by Seth. He went tenth in Elks too as well. Um, but here's here's something that I thought was crazy after drafting over in the Elks too. Zeke Elliott going second round. I think he went fifth overall in Elks too. I could be wrong about that, but I think he went fifth overall if Keith Fry could be wrong, but hey man, Zeke, Zeke looked good against that Seahawks first team defense. So great, great back-to-back -back picks by Seth, and there's another man. This is crazy. A.J. Green, second round. This is PPR. A.J. Green on second round. No, no shocker here. Des Bryant on second round. He loses his quarterback practically for the year again. We'll see if Dak can find them the ball. Um, I drafted, I drafted Des, but it was it was more down here in the second round, not not up here. Um, but still, Des Bryant, good pick, good pick. Lamar Miller, I mean, we'll see how he does in that Texans offense. Uh, I want him to prove himself before I start saying that's a great pick. Um, Allen Robinson, I mean, Allen Robinson balled out last year, guys, but we'll see. He's a Jaguar. Um, Devontae Freeman, no surprise. Mark Ingram, I, I think that's pushing it. But whoever drafted Wayne's team, I don't know if that was Jeff, too. He drafted, I know, two teams. But for Wayne not being there, he got a pretty good team. But Mark Ingram, I don't, I don't know. Um, Brandon Marshall, I'm not the biggest fan of Brandon Marshall, so I don't know about second round. I mean, come on, Jeff. You had other better choices like Mike Evans. Um, and Jamal Charles, God. Um, but, God, man, I can't, I can't. I cannot tell you how well J.J.'s team looks for the first overall. Usually, you know, you get the best player, but then your team sort of struggles. But, man, this team looks good. Um, you know, looking at it, looking at it. You know, you don't see much, most, mo much more status quo. But shocker to me, you know, you got Aaron Rodgers, first quarterback off the board, one second overall. But then the next quarterback is not until the fourth round. And it's Cam Newton, you know, probably should have been the first quarterback off the board. If he has a year like he did last year, um, Cam Newton's a baller. Great pickup by Wayne. Whoever drafted Wayne's team, I'm sure he'll appreciate that quarterback. Um, and 
been, you know, not another quarterback taken until the fifth round for you guys, and that's when y'all sort of took them all. Y'all got four sh- four straight there, and you got Russell Wilson, Big Ben, Drew Brees, and Luck. Um, so, I mean, all good quarterbacks. Like I said, Rodgers' biggest reach on this board, it looks like, so far. And then, man, again, J.J.'s team. Look at this. Doug Baldwin, baller. Man, I'm just saying, I mean, his receivers are Antonio Brown, Edelman, and Baldwin. That's – that's promise. Then you got the running backs of Charles, Lacey. If Foster can stay healthy, uh, Matt Jones, D'Angelo Williams for three games. Uh, I'm just saying, yes, quarterback Derek Carr ain't the best. But I'm just saying, he's got a bunch of trade bait to get a, you know, an Aaron Rodgers or a Russell Wilson or a Cam. I mean, whew, JJ's team just looks the best to me. And, you know, I've not went down each team, but, man, it just it sticks out the best for sure. Let me see here. Let's see what we else got. I, I like these all these right ends, man. I, I, I like this. I think we only had two over on the Elks, two right ends. Um, Smallwood here for Elisa. Jeff always knows something. So it looks like Jeff had a lot of the right ends. He had two of them. Um, I have no idea who Ferguson is. I, honestly, I don't. But if Jeff knows him, he's probably good. Um, I'm assuming this is Josh Gordon. Great pick by JJ again. Lord. Christian Michael here for Alex. I think that's a great pick. 15th round. Um, actually, stellar pick. And then, you know, you got Isaiah Crow down here going in the 14th round. Y'all look at the Browns depth chart. He's the starter. I don't know if a lot of you guys know that, but I checked that yesterday. Crow's the starter. Yeah, he's in a timeshare with – where is he at? I know he went a whole lot a whole lot sooner than this than Crow did here. Where is he at? Duke Johnson, seventh round. Okay, well, Seth. Okay, well, he got them both. Okay, so it's fine. It's fine that he got them both then. So they're in the timeshare. Um, I don't know who's going to win the battle, but hopefully it's Isaiah Corral drafting it. Um, man, I don't know. I'm a little surprise here by Seth here. Let's let's peek this one out for you guys. Everyone in Elks 1 know, already knows about it. For the people in Elks 2, you know, if y'all want to talk about it. He goes... Blake Bortles, ninth round, and then comes back and goes Eli Manning, 10th round. Back-to-back QBs, a little, little, little weird if you were to ask me, but, I mean, you know, it's interesting to see what the new guys do. I mean, usually the new guys are all right. Some of them suck, like I did my first year. But, hey, got some good strategies, it looks like. Bo took the first kicker of the draft. I like that. I think his brother did the same thing on the other side. So that's great. They must have had a kicker strategy with the new kicker rules. I mean, Gostowski is definitely probably the best kicker in the draft. So hopefully you don't lose too many points. Also, look at this. Hold on. Round nine. I'll see you got Alex with a pick right here. Look at this. Amir Abadullah, starting running back for the Lions. That's a great pick. That's a great pick. Ninth round. That's a that's a heck of a pick. Good, good pick, Alex. I like your team too. Gurley, Freeman, Alshon. See what T.Y. does this year, but Randall Cobb, Delaney Walk, Tom Brady, Punt. Yeah, that's a good team. Rivers is your backup quarterback. Well, your quarterback's starting for the first four games. So. <laughs> Can't play there. Probably got arguably one of the best defenses in the Panthers. And look at this, 13th round, Stephon Diggs by Alex. That That's a great pick. Dang, that's a great pick. He's, he's balling right now as we speak. I think he has like five targets, five catches, bunches of yards. I don't know, Alex and JJ's team, whoa, they they sticking out to me right now. And, you know, granted, you know, Rick wasn't here, so we don't know what he really would have done. Lisa wasn't here. Wayne wasn't here. But, I mean, let, let's let's observe those teams since they weren't here. Let's see what Jeff did. You know, he goes ODB, Brandon Marshall, I don't like. Doug Martin, just all right. Carlos Hyde could be good. Andrew Luck, pretty solid. He had a pretty bad year last year, though. Golden Tate, I like that. Notre Dame alum. Uh, Danny Wood had great PPR back. We'll see about Jordan Matthews. He plays for the, the Eagles. They suck. Um, Charles Sims, not bad PPR back, but we'll see what Doug Martin does. Like I said, he got he got the cuff, so that's good for Rick. Um, don't honestly have no idea who Devontae Booker is. Um, I'm guessing he's the backup. Willie Sneed, he'd be all right. Julius Thomas, I, I hope he has a good year because we all know what he did for God dang Broncos two years ago. Um, Sanu, he could be all right. Like I said, I have no idea who the Ferguson guy is. Texans defense, good defense, and, you know, the Cardinals kicker. I can't say his name. Constanza Zaro or something. Hell, I don't know. So not bad. Not bad for Rick, considering he wasn't there. And then you, you, know, you come over here to Lisa. You got, you got AP. 
great pick. Allen Robinson could be potential great pick. Brandon Cooks is established in that Saints offense, so that's a great pick. Jonathan Stewart, he had a, he had a pretty good year last year, surprisingly. Um, I think he'll be fine. Um, you got Drew Brees as the quarterback for Lisa's team. You got Ryan Matthews for the Eagles. Could be all right. Probably going to get injured. Um, that's every year, though. Devontae Parker. I'm sure Dean likes that pick. Um, we got Gio Bernard here. That's a great pick in the eighth round. Um, obviously, him and Jeremy Hill are in the timeshare, but Gio is the better PPR back, if you would ask me. Um, Marvin Jones, he'd be all right. Zach Kurtz, great tight end pick. I got him in the 15th round yesterday, Zach Kurtz. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jarek McKinnon, great. Great cuff again. Man. Jeff got, got y'all's cuffs, man. See, Jeff looking out for you guys, and he ain't even in the league. Tyler Lockett. Good pick. Smallwood, look at that. Back up to Ron Matthews, but I think you should have went for the other backup in Barner. Um, Antonio Gates, I mean, come on, Gates has been established in this league. Yeah, he's on the downfall, but they got rid of Ladarius Green. So, hey, Antonio Gates all over. I hate the Jets, D. But Blair Walsh, great kicker. But, I mean, Jeff, Jeff drafting good like he usually does if Jeff was in the league. And then, you know, we come over here and look at Wayne's team. I have no idea who drafted Wayne Steam. I don't know if that was a collective effort or if it was just Jeff himself. But Julio Jones, great pick. He slipped to eight in Elks, too, draft yesterday. <coughs> Mark Ingram, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan, but Mark Ingram does pretty good fantasy-wise. Jordy Nelson, third round. I like Nelson, but coming off that big injury, I, I want to see how he does. Um, Cam Newton, that's a heck of a pick. Jeremy Hill, I've already talked about being in the timeshare with Geo. Jeremy Langford. He did good for you last year when Forte was out, so I think that's a good pick. Got some good backs there. Decker, I don't like Decker. He's white. Um, Kobe Fleener, yeah, he's white, but he's in that Saints offense. Drew Brees loves them tight ends. Like that pick. Michael Floyd, Notre Dame alum, great pick. Um, even though they have, I think Floyd led the Cardinals last year in three or four weeks. Fitzgerald, three or four weeks. And, like, John Brown, like eight of the other weeks. I don't know. It was crazy. John Brown was the wide receiver to have last year fantasy-wise. Theo Riddick. Who got oh, Abdul? See, Alex got him, and then Wayne, whoever drafted Wayne's team, got the backup there. And Riddick's a great PPR back, too. Um, could be a potential wide receiver slot. Could see a lot of running back time as well. But still, like I said, I like Amir Abdullah uh, in the ninth round. Uh, that's just crazy. Torrey Smith for the 49ers. I mean, they ain't got much, much anyone to throw to, so that's a good pick. Cincinnati's D, good pick. Devin Funches, we'll see. Seattle's kicker, always good kicker. Uh, Justin Forsett in the 15th round. That's that's very interesting. Good pick. Good pick. Then Pierre Garcon, I don't know. He's, he's old. Um, but, I mean, looking at the board, I just wanted to really go over the three teams that the three people weren't there. Um, very impressed, actually, by their teams for considering people, you know, people draft for them. You know, Jeff, he ain't even in the league anymore. So, I guess none of y'all could really talk him out of making good picks. <sighs> But newcomers, you know, like Austin, David Johnson, Dez, C.J. Anderson, Demarius Thomas. I like that. Russell Wilson, I like that. Jordan Reed, great tight end. Frank Gore, hate that. Um, Emmanuel Sanders, pretty good. You got both of them. Hey, we got three Broncos. You a Bronco fan? Four Broncos. You even got their defense. You must like the Broncos. And then let's let's check this out. He's obviously a West Virginia fan. He goes Kevin White. Down there he goes Tavon Austin. Bo both have a lot of upside. Don't get me wrong. Chicago does not have much potential on their team. Um, so Kevin White could be good this year. Same thing for Tavon. I just think he needs to be on a different team. Hopefully Jared Goff can find him. Um, so not bad. I think that's going to be a decent team this year. I mean, everyone makes the playoffs. So, just, you know, never know. Staff being a newcomer, like I said, Gronk, Zeke. Amari Cooper, great. Sammy Watkins could be great. DeMarco Murray looked great up there while we were drafting for the Elks, too, yesterday. Whoo, he was tearing that Raiders defense up. Jeremy Macklin, I liked him when he played for the Eagles. Duke Johnson, you know, he's got Crow. Melvin Gordon looking good today. Got him a touchdown. Couldn't even do one of them last year. Blake Bortles, good quarterback, but then again, you go to Eli. That's like, which one do you really want? Um, don't really know much about this Corey Coleman guy. Um, Alfred Morris, I think that's a great pick in the 12th round. Got your back to Zeke. That's, that's good. You must have focused on your cuffs because I like that a lot. Vincent Jackson, that could be a good pick. And then, you know, Patriots defense and Panthers kicker. Um, Bo's been fresh out of the league for a while. But DeAndre on A.J. Green, that's great. Great two PPR backs. LaShawn McCoy, if he can stay healthy. Tavius Murray didn't look great yesterday. 
But Fitzgerald has a year like he did last year. We all know about that. He's got three stud wide receivers and Greg Olson. And, dang, he went back-to-back -back tight ends. Went Olson and Barnage. Two great tight ends. If only that flex play was still in play. Woo, that'd be dirty. Um, Rashad Jennings, not too bad. Um, Alan Hearns, not bad. Tyrod Taylor, not bad. And Jameis Winston is your backup. So you obviously went with the two running quarterbacks. I like it. Jameis Winston had a lot of rushing touchdowns last year. Seattle's D, um, arguably one of the best Ds as well. Then, like we know, Patriots kicker. Uh, Marcus Wheaton lay. That's a good pick. Man, he went two defenses, Packers defense, and then Chris Johnson last round. Not bad, not bad. Um, but if I had to pick the team I like the most, it's, it's either Alex's or JJ's out of this side. And, you know, that's just my opinion. Um, but those are my two picks. Um, the worst team, um, opinionated, hope I'm not hated off this. Um, I don't know, man. Cody's going to struggle at the start with no Le'Veon Bell. And your starting running backs are going to be Chris Ivory and Lamar Miller. Not the best. Your receivers are Keenan Allen, Jarvis Landry, and John Brown. John Brown's good. I don't I don't know. I'd have to say I like Travis Benjamin, though. That's, that's a great pick in the 15th round. Told you that yesterday. But I don't know. This team's going to struggle hard at the start. When he gets back and can stay healthy, this team will be fine. But as of right now, Cody's team, to me, will do the worst at the start. Um, feel free, though. To start up a message board and put, put what you guys think. I mean, this is y'all's y'all side, not my side. So, hope you all enjoyed this little recap. Yeah, recap. Get used to these. But, Cody knows all about these. But anyways, man, great draft, guys. Have a great year, man. I'll see you guys here in about a week.